What if we were all colorblind? And what I mean by this is, how could we all know if we see certain colors the same? If we were all raised to call red by red, then even if somebody saw red differently than you, they would just call it red and no one would ever know. And what if people with brown eyes saw colors differently than people with blue eyes? This is my theory, and if you don't get what I'm trying to say yet, make sure you stick around where I dive deeper into this theory that may just blow your mind. Today's sponsor is Beautiful Halo. Basically, they just make a bunch of different merch for movies, memes, and TV shows, and these are all examples of stuff that they actually make. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, there'll be a link in the description down below. Okay, so this is about to get super confusing, so put on your big brain caps and strap in because this will be confusing, but awesome. So this is really hard to put into words, but I'm going to try and explain this better. So say people with blue eyes saw green differently than people with brown eyes, but since they were always trained to call green green, then they would never know that their parents who taught them colors saw green completely different than them. There is no way to explain how a color looks besides by its name and how bright or dark it is. So technically, everyone could see grass differently and no one would know. And if you want to dive even deeper into this theory, what if everyone's favorite color was actually the same, but since people see colors differently, in this theory, no one would know. Again, to explain this, pretend that I see grass like this, but someone else sees grass like this. But when they look at the sky, they see this, but I see this. Now, what if both of our favorite colors were the green I saw, but we both called our versions of green different because of how we were trained by our parents? Another interesting thing to think about is how 1 out of 12 people are colorblind. So to put that into perspective, if 120 people watch this video, 10 of those are most likely colorblind, but they probably don't even know it. So I brought up this theory to my friend and he had something interesting to point out. He mentioned that there are several different types of colorblindness, and how could several people be able to fall under a certain category of colorblindness if everyone sees color differently? And this is why I don't think that that completely debunks my theory. So this is about to get really complicated, but I'm going to try and explain this the best I can. So what if red-green colorblind people and blue-yellow colorblind people had issues seeing the same true colors? So to go back to my previous example, to better explain, say someone saw grass as green and someone else saw the sky as green, but they call it blue because they were trained to. They would think they would have an issue seeing blue, but in reality they could be having an issue seeing the green that you see. But they would fall under a different category of colorblindness because they see color differently. I think that colorblindness kind of helps make my theory stronger because it shows that a lot of people already see differently. But these are the only people that we know of having this issue so far. It is just very difficult to either prove or deny that we see color differently, which is why I think this theory is so fun to consider and think about. So did this make any sense? Let me know in the comment section down below and try and debunk this theory because I want to see if you guys can. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe with notifications on so you never miss out on one of these cringy videos.